A lawsuit filed this week against Kentwood Public Schools alleges the district violated a former student's civil rights after she reported an employee sexually assaulted her and officials did not take action to stop it. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly read through that complaint. She joins us live in the studio with the latest on it. Marisa. Yeah, Janice and Josh, this lawsuit claims that the victim, then 16 years old, told her school counselor about the abuse a few months after it started, but KPS did nothing to intervene for more than a year. Last July, that employee, John Hunt, pleaded guilty to third-degree criminal sexual conduct and remains in prison, according to state records. The lawsuit says he worked as a security officer and custodian for the district and during the start of the 2018-2019 school year began to groom the victim by quote pretending to care about her well-being then from that January into July 2020 it alleges Hunt repeatedly sexually assaulted her at East Kentwood High School and other locations in Kent County the victim reportedly disclosed a quote unhealthy relationship with Hunt to her school counselor in May 2019 and continued to talk about it in other sessions but even after knowledge of Hunt's behavior the lawsuit says the district failed to put in place measures that would ensure further incidents did not occur that victim's attorney says she remains deeply impacted by what happened. It's devastating. So anyone who's been subjected to sexual exploitation or abuse, especially at a very young age, it's going to have rippling effects, lifelong effects. It's it affects her ability to have meaningful relationship with other people. And we did email and call Kentwood Public Schools multiple times this afternoon to try and get a response from them about this lawsuit, but we have not heard back at this time. Now, I did obtain the probable cause affidavit for the criminal case against Hunt, and coming up tonight on Fox 17 News at 10, we'll take a closer look at those allegations. Reporting live in the studio, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.